Miss America seemed like the perfect place to demonstrate the way women were just judged as sex objects, just judged by their looks. There were no such standards for men. We also recognized how racist those beauty standards were. We weren't going to have any of it. It was, all women are beautiful. That was one of our slogans. All women are beautiful. We had a freedom trash can. Guys were burning their draft cards. We would burn our bras and other instruments of female torture. No more pain, no more trying to hold the flat in vain. Even though I was in now, I was always with the radicals. If they're going to demonstrate for the Miss America, I'm going to be there. Use your brains, not your bodies. It was a blast, what can I say? It was very exciting. It was something now wouldn't do. They did things that were outrageous. And some of us thought that these would be made fun of, and they were. But they attracted media attention. Of course, they got results. But the best part came when, right at the moment when they were about to crown Miss America, the women who had snuck up into the balcony unfurled this huge banner over the edge of the balcony that said women's liberation. And the world got to see those words for the first time on a national scale. It was a great success. <laughs>